when making a fracture, you want to start with your text while you're still making it, because if you already made your text, it'll be a little more difficult to undo it and then put the fractures in. This way is a lot quicker. So this is after you've set up your text layers and you're going in and setting the origin. So go ahead and center everything. And once everything is centered, you want to then place a fracture in under all your nulls. And you want to do this while everything is centered already, because when you place the fracture, it'll start as the center point of the scene, and it'll just make it easier to work with once you've already done it at the start, rather than trying to center it afterward. And now that you have your fractures, you can set up your text normally. And sometimes it'll show that it's not fractured, or it'll flicker in and out, or you might not see it. But that's normal. You might just have to disable and re-enable it to fix any issues you have. And now we have the fractured text in a setup, and exactly what I was talking about, it sometimes breaks. And if you want to be able to see your text without these pieces, you can select all of it and then go to Object, Turn Off Colorize Fragments. And now if you go to like a, if you select these and do like a random, you'll see it's all in blocks. If your pieces are looking hollow, you will need to go into your when you're extruding, um, like when you're making your text, there will be a setting in object or caps for older versions that says create single object, and you want to check that. It's in there or it's in here, one of the two. There's a, set, there's a setting to create single object and you want to turn that on, but it's no longer a thing in the newer versions, so it shouldn't be an issue if you're using a new version of Cinema 4D. Only if your fractures are 2D and there's holes in them. All right, now, if you want to have better performance, you select them all and go to Sources and set the viewport amount to 10%, and now you'll notice that our fracture is very, very, very big. There's barely any pieces. And this will make it so that your animation doesn't lag when you're trying to play it back. And then set it back to 100 to see what it actually looks like. And you don't have to switch this back when you're rendering. This will only show when you're working. When it renders, it'll render 100%. And to increase the amount of fractures, you can just turn this up and it'll be a lot smaller pieces. Keep turning this way up and you'll get even smaller pieces. But there's other ways to use Voronoi Fracture. If you get rid of the source here, you can use anything as a source. So let me fix that. There. You can use anything as a source. So if we want to make a box cut out, you can take this and just cover the kind of text area, then just hide this, put it down here, select all of our fracture objects, and put this in the source. And now so we can see better. I will colorize fragments. And you'll see that this split. Now you can change these segments, and you'll start to get more lines. Instead of a random cutting shape, you have a very blocky cutout. And so you can just keep turning these up 
Make sure not to set them too high, or you will run into an issue like this. Okay, froze for a second, but it came back. So, yeah, do not set the numbers too high or you'll have performance issues. And if you want to be really creative, you can also just set up a new text layer and have one of them as a block and the other one as a regular fracture. And you'll basically have... You can just switch between them and you'll have two different fractures. Or you can combine the, each layer of line mask if you're cutting your text in half with a Voronoi fracture for each half or you import a letter map or a letter pack or a um, text from Illustrator. It's already cut and if you see here I have my texts split in this project that I have and you can see that all three parts all have their own settings here so you can control the top half bottom half middle middle is pieces while the top and bottom are cut out in blocks and it's really easy to do because it's all in this procedural Voronoi fracture system so that's it um have fun with this